everyone. All right, guys, uh, it's about time for me to uh, release the mintage numbers of uh, my 2020 bars. Before I get into that real quick, I want to show you when I got these in, I had, you know, I bought these and got them sent to me. And while I was doing that, I also uh, picked up uh, from Yeager's Ford Silver their 2020 Christmas bar, which was an ornament. Picked up three of these. 2020 had a nice, this one has nice cool, cooling lines on it. So I grabbed those when I grabbed the last uh, numbers of my two bars in 2020 that I made. So without further ado, let me show you guys. Let's start with the four ounce. For those of you guys following, this is my four ounce bar for 2020. And surprisingly, 157 of them were made. Very cool bar. This was uh, to go with my 2019 bar. Kind of like a little set for the two years together. And on the one ounce, this is a chunky little nugget oval. You see how thick it is. It's nice. It's a little chunky thing because it's small. I mean, it's small. <laughs> So it's amazing how they got all those stamps on such a small little thing. There's 264 of these that were made. One try ounce, 2020, 999 fine silver. And the reason why I say I'm surprised that uh, you know so many of these were made is because the previous year, these there's 50% more of these that were made than in 2019. Why I'm so surprised on that is because you guys know what the price of silver did. Um, silver prices were up dramatically from 2019. That and also, you know, I don't I don't post as many videos as I used to because I'm not buying as much silver because I'm pretty loaded up on it. Um, so I was expecting the mintages to be a little bit lower, not more than 50% higher on both of these pieces. So it was a good year for uh, silver slacker bars. But yeah, Spe and speaking of which, um, I wanted you guys' help on something. I've been going back and forth on whether I should do a 2021 bar. Um, been debating whether I'm going to commission that through Jaeger's Port Silver or not. So, let me know your thoughts, guys. If you think I should do, if I should do one of those bars or not, and uh, if you think I should, you, let me know if you guys have any ideas on what I uh, should do. I do a one ounce and a four ounce every year since 2015. You can see here's the 2015s, 2016s, 17s, 18s. 19 and then of course 2020 um i just uh i don't really know what i'd want done it has to be something fairly simple as you can see there these are fairly simple designs the gear was probably the the fanciest um and then of course we had the tombstone and the um the tombstone and the the um coffin um and then of course we had my my slacker bar which was obviously a custom custom mold where they had to write the slacker in it. But uh, besides that, you know, it's it's pretty limited because I have to be able to fit my, so this is about as small as it can get because I have to be able to fit my stamp. Um, these stamps are pretty expensive, so I can't really uh, afford just buy a whole new stamp for for these uh, these bars. It wouldn't be, it'd be cost prohibitive um, just for a special run on these but yeah guys so if you do think i should come out with a 2020 2021 bar um and keep the series going this is six years um that's been going if you think i should keep it going um give me your thoughts on some some designs that would be fairly simple um i think i've done pretty much the normal tombstone you know uh octagon the the you know the square so the oval this is running out of shapes that I can actually do for that kind of thing. But yeah, so give me your thoughts. Um, can't do a cube. I, my, my, uh, I already thought about like a cube or something like that because my uh, stamp is just, it, it's too big for a one ounce cube. The, each side of the cube, I think would be too, would be too small for, for a cube. So can't be a cube, but I don't know guys, give me your thoughts on if, whether you think I should keep the series going or if I should, uh, end it in 2020. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I should have some, uh, a video for you guys sometime soon. Thanks for watching everybody.